Today on The Real. It's a powerful new The Real. As my girl and power star, Naturi Naughton stops by. All my dreams are finally starting to come together. Plus, pull out your passport. We're showing you how to get that sun-kissed look. It's perfect for these hot summer nights. And on Girl Chat, the burden of a secret. I just like to see your reaction. Hey, what? Then, the wedding plus one debate. Make you was sure with that me, I though. That why, I didn't understand that. I, I've been meaning to bring this up. <laughs> you, The Real. Secrets, but keeping them is actually a different story. Researchers at Tufts University say that people who were told a deep secret, like oh. someone's infidelity, became physically burdened by it. For example, a task like carrying groceries upstairs and walking the dog took more effort. So ladies, do you think it's fair for people to put you in a situation by burdening you with a secret of theirs? It's the worst feeling in the world when you actually don't want to know someone's deep dark secret. And then they and just then, put it on on you. Because then, well, for someone like me, I'm going to think about what should you do? What are the solutions? Yeah. Who is this involving? Especially when yes, your mind is a little younger. <laughs> when I was a kid, my one of my family members I was really close with was being unfaithful in their marriage. Yeah. And I saw it, y'all. I caught it. And, and what you do? <laughs> well, I didn't want the marriage to break up, so I kept it a secret. And I wouldn't have advised the little girl then to do the same thing now. But what I learned is there's a power for some people who can actually remove themselves from that person's burden so that they're not involved. That's my mama Mai. Mama Mai, she's that person who loves all the tea from everybody. She's like, what you say? What happened? You know, but then afterwards when I'm like, mom, don't you feel so guilty now that you know their secret? She's like, no, the bad secret, they give you wrinkle. I don't want wrinkle. Right. And you it's the true. At the door. That's it's what really she good, but yeah. I can't it's do so that. Hard. So you guys actually lose sleep over stuff like that? Yes. Yeah. Like what? Seeing somebody with somebody else's? Or just knowing no, something just knowing heavy a deep, from like, someone secret. else. I just don't want to know it because I'm going to tell it. That's, that's the truth. Okay? But then, okay, okay, I hear that's you. That's the truth. But what if somebody tells you anyway? What if they tell you, like, if I'm like, Lonnie, I'm about to tell you something, and you didn't know, so I walked you into it, and now you know something real dark about me. I'm like, you know I'm gonna tell somebody, okay? <laughs> oh so we should gosh. talk See, about I'm it. I'm the opposite, you guys. I, I have to say, a lot of people tend to tell me their stuff because, I think because I'm such an open book, I'll tell all my, I spill all my own tea. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. you guys will tell me, don't be telling everybody your yes. business, Adrian. <laughs> right. I'll me. tell everybody everything. <laughs> Way too honest. But your stories good. be good, though. It be juicy. I know, right? <laughs> like a movie. And, right? And then because I'm telling you some <laughs> crazy story, then that makes other people want to tell me their crazy stories. And then because I already have so many crazy stories in my own life, I forget about yours. <laughs> because I'm living my life. Yeah, I got okay. enough going on over here See, that even when other people have told me something really heavy, I might think about it later on and send a little message or something. Yeah. But it doesn't wear me down like but how you guys are saying. It ain't killing me. Aid, as, as your friend, <laughs> I want to ask, does it depend on the person, though? Because I know the aide's got a lot of friends, right? But you got a core next to you, and yeah. that starts with your family. It's yeah. our friends don't even come into family. So what if it was a dark, heavy secret that had to do with Maybe your sister, or maybe your mom. You know that what I mean? Would, okay, that's different. That's if it's what my I'm family, about. okay, then I get it. I, like, I'm thinking you guys are literally talking about like one of your girlfriends yeah, telling you, like, oh, you know. It's me. I, I'm not letting that stop me from sleeping. I ain't losing sleep over some bochinche, no, like, like gossip. That. It's just secrets in general. Like, one time my niece's teacher called me. Um, she was 10 at the time, and she ended up giving, she, he wanted her, her mom's number 
my niece gave my number. Mm -hmm. And so the teacher called me yeah. and left this long message <gasps> about, you know, oh, Naomi. No. Naomi. She was bad, all right, and, okay. and everything, and, you know, she's a bright kid, but, you know, she needs some discipline and all of that, yeah. right? So I called Naomi first. I said, why you get that man my number, you know? <laughs> and is he single, you know? Oh, my God. She's stupid. <laughs> she's stupid, yeah. So, and, you know, she was like, but, but please, Auntie Lonnie, please don't tell, you know, my mommy. I said, you know I'm going to tell your mommy. Oh, shoot. Because I didn't want the burden, because she acted up in school. I didn't want that burden yeah. on me. But then I called oh, my God. sister, and I was me like, neither. hey, the teacher called, and blah, blah, blah. She said, uh-uh, the teacher did. I said, no, the teacher called. And I said, I told Naomi I was going to call you and tell you, so you handle it. I ain't the mama. And I told her, I said, you don't lie to your teachers. Because, see, there was a yeah. teachable moment. Because, first of all, <laughs> oh. don't get me caught up in your mess, OK? That is true. That's now, I don't want to be caught up in it in the way where, like, you force me to push me in a corner where I have to lie for you. Yes, or and later, that I'm not. Exactly. I'm not or later on, it. when the truth comes out, then they reveal your name and say, "Well, Adrian knew about it." Oh, don't you try me? Sure oh, did. that's true. Sure don't yeah, do that. Don't do that. Don't nope. do that. Yeah. I don't have to. I don't know. I, random people just come up to me and they just feel like you they got can that tell face, though. Anything, yeah. You got that biblical face. You know, you just like very well, angelic. I'm like telling you all of my wild, crazy things because I just like to see your reaction. Exactly. Yes. You take exactly. Oh, yes. I'll yes. tell her the craziest things I've ever done Adrian. or things I've been yes. doing. So we she do can that. say, yep. Adrian. <laughs> yes. I think it's because sometimes I think I just have maybe great advice to give in return. Yeah. Yes. Or yeah. I'm just, I'm seriously a non judgmental person. Yeah. So I feel like people just feel comfortable to just tell me everything. But I'm also, I don't know, I, I'm one of those people where I, I carry people's burdens. So although I'm welcoming, you know, your, your issues, I take them on as my own because my problem is, is I always want to fix. So when I hear something, like, say, like, a marriage isn't going well, right. then, you know, I'll, I'll call, like, counselors and be like, hey, yep. you guys should get with this person so you guys can, like, you know, or fix it. Do you yeah. ever start Googling Bible verses for them and send Absolutely, them in the morning? Absolutely, that's me. Okay. Okay. Genie that's me. Like that and yes. so does you. Okay, if it helps you any, are you yes. ready for this? Yeah. What? Sometimes people just want an ear to listen to. Yeah. They don't actually want you to fix it. I've they don't even true. need you. So you should unburden yourself and just know that you did the job by being a listening ear. That's so easier said than done. Yeah, yeah. It, it, but, yes, you're right. The right. they don't want to hear what you want to do to fix it. What if they don't want to fix it? Well, I have then gotten to the... I go behind them and just pray about it. So I may not, like, physically try to, to help them. Yeah. It just, it hurts me not to care. I have heard something that I think will help because it what? started to help me. I heard uh, a quote. Who was it? Who was it? It was Oprah and 50 Cent. It was okay. recently on Super Soul Sunday. Awesome. On Super Soul Sunday, they said okay. this. They said, you can pray and you can worry, but you can't and do them both. both at the same time. Oh, I love that. I love so that. So I'll pray about it, and then I'm just going to let it go. But don't yep. worry. I love that. Well, you guys, it's no secret that engaged couples are burdened by their <laughs> wedding list. Trust me, I knew about this. Uh, I can totally relate. In fact, you guys, Madame Noir recently asked the question, should plus ones be reserved only for engaged and married people? <laughs> <laughs> Blogger Alyssa Rochelle says yes, because weddings can be very expensive, you guys. Yes, and true. when you start inviting random people that the bride and the groom don't know personally, <laughs> you guys, that adds up. If, if it's like 150, it's 100, if it's $75, and you just invited three extra people, that's math. What? If you <laughs> marry. That's a lot of money, you guys. Yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> So, do you ladies agree that you should you should either be married or engaged in order to be maybe, a plus one at Maybe not wedding? married or engaged, but have been with that person for a while. Exactly. And more yes. importantly, this is one of the most intimate moments of your life. Yes. Yeah. And you don't, don't want just a stranger, anybody. you know, being a witness to something that is so yes. intimate and so personal. Well, what are single not... people supposed to do? Okay, I'm not no, no, they, you know, plus friends. one. Yeah, plus they could just a... be a plus one as a boyfriend. Like, but as long as I know the person oh. and like the person has been in your life, it's not some hey, I have a wedding to go to, so I'm gonna go find a random, random person, person to bring. First of all, you 
if you're inviting somebody to your wedding, you just you should know that they're not just going to bring anybody to the wedding as a guest. Not everybody does that. But do you repeat that it should be somebody that the bride and groom at least know? Like, for instance, she brought Amy with her. I knew oh, yes, Amy. Yes, and like, I, I asked know this first. person. And you asked as long as I know the person. First, that's major. Good. I said, "Is it okay for me to bring my friend Amy to your yes. wedding? My husband can't make it. With I didn't want to go by myself, but I made you sure that I." You was with me I asked... though. That why I didn't understand that. I, I've been meaning to bring this up. <laughs> you, <laughs> you. I mean. Like, what, okay, what's she doing for? I needed somebody in my, this is just me. I'm in, I'm in a foreign country. I know, um, yeah, I'm I was old. with you. I know, but Lonnie, <laughs> I just wanted someone in the room with me. You wouldn't be in the room no, with I'm me. No, I'm not gonna be in the room See? with you. See, I know that's you. Happened. But do you get what I mean? That's still the idea of, okay, I get it. You're single. You don't necessarily want to go by yourself. Yeah. So I had a lot of single but women at my wedding. also, when you're a guest, you bring, you buy gifts, you transport, yeah. you, you, you dress up. Yes. I think that it's the same. And if you trust your friend, you should say, well, you could bring somebody. Because just like she just said, she didn't want to be by herself. When you go to a wedding, sometimes when you're single, you don't want to be by yourself. I agree. So that's, I, agree. I mean. That's true. That's why I had a whole table of single ladies. None of them that was boring. One. I no. wanted to be with some men. No, they no. turned up. My they were table, fine. They were turned up. Uh, boring. You're gonna be single in Paris. Boring. You be good, boo. You're gonna yeah, be just gonna fine. Be just no, fine. Oh. at the wedding, it was a bunch of women. I want to be with a bunch of women. Yeah, I wanna but be it's with some nice men. to go to a wedding as a single woman without a date because yes. then you could meet Yo, the eligible the bachelor. It is the best. You, it's the best pickup party. Yeah. Because you're meeting people that you know your friends are already approving are yeah. cool enough to be married. I want to bring my date to the wedding, okay? Yeah, you That's wanted I to. I hook my own self up. You're, I didn't bring somebody because I knew I was working at your wedding, and then oh. she was going to, she brought somebody, so I was by myself, and, oh, you was there. Okay. Ah! <laughs> But technically, you guys, you weren't among strangers. We were all together. Yes. So it was like, it wasn't necessary, necessarily. Anyway, from saying I do to I don't want to, do you hate people who are lazy? People will say, I don't want to. Well, guess what? They might actually be brilliant. Why, thank you. <laughs> According to research from the Journal of Health Psychology, smart people spend more time being lazy than their active counterparts. Those who are more active get bored quicker and need to be stimulated with external activities. Meanwhile, smart people and less active spend more time thinking and drinking. <laughs> Ladies, do you think that being lazy... This is, okay, this is, a, this is gonna be interesting. Do you think that being lazy could be a good thing? I don't yes. think it's lazy. I don't like that, that description. I don't think Me it's, too. It, it, it's not. What would you think? What I would don't you know. say? I'm one of those people, but I'm not a lazy person. Right. right. My thing is, is I just get stuck in my head. And right. then I'm exhausted from thinking too much. Right. <laughs> so it's not that I'm lazy. It's wait, just that. Wait, did you just say you exhaust your own self? You out can do that. You just sat there and thought I'm so much. I'm not the only one, right? Thank you. Yes. I just feel like like you think, 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 and you're like, but oh damn, my god, I'm tired. Damn, you're not lazy. You constantly, whenever I'm over your house, I'm admit moving. it. I am. Okay. You. What? What are you doing? I'm cleaning. Yes, you are constantly. You are not. You are not lazy. No. Um, okay. But I'm gonna tell you this. I'm. I, I'm. I'm idle because I think too much. So I have to do something to, to get, get out mind. of my head. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. Um. I think that some people can be too quick to use the term lazy to insult people. Right. For example, in my family, if you as a kid sit around and you're not doing something. Immediately, the parents, they say, oh, he's lazy. He, he's, she's just lazy. She's not, she's not going to be good, you know, later because she's not doing the chores or they don't like doing their homework. Right. When really, I think that kids have to be stimulated or have to be doing something that they're interested in, sports or maybe an activity or if it's a chore, give them a motivated reason why they should do it. Otherwise, if you just say Timmy's lazy because he won't do piano, maybe Timmy doesn't like piano. Maybe Timmy's not good at piano. But if you put Timmy in something like science or maybe like... Something right. he's you know, into. Then he's going to spring up and be amazing. Dylan, my cousin, that was the exact problem. My, my aunt always like gave him different chores and he never got into it. She made him play the damn piano. And I saw his face. I was like, that kid don't like <laughs> piano. Right. So I took him outdoors, yes. And you've got to be careful 
Because as a kid, you soak in words and you start yeah. thinking like, am I lazy? Yeah. I'm not lazy, something's yeah. wrong with me. Or so, you start believing that you are yeah. lazy. And yeah. You gotta you be are... careful what you call your children. Exactly. No, I think Remember if they laying around, say you a genius, and then they get up, and then that changes their whole, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna front, you guys. My favorite activity is doing nothing. I love doing nothing. See, I'm a genius as well, Molly, look at that. <laughs> but I think, okay, for instance, I like to just chill and lay down and watch TV. Am I the only one that just likes to chill? And no, I like, I like doing that. Watch TV, you know? Order some Grubhub and relax. I like to think that I'm a person that knows that there's a time for everything. There yes. actually are people that don't know how to sit still. Right. Like, yes. there are guys yes. that literally, that they're like, me. babe, will you just take a day and hang? And they don't know how to just chill and sit still. And I think that that's actually a really great quality. And it's very relaxing, Yes, too. you have, yes. but there's a time yeah. and a place for everything. Should you be doing that every day, all day? No. No, but when it's time, it's okay to be lazy sometimes. I can't just sit there. Oh, that's hard. I don't know. You can't sit still. I can't sit still. Why? But if you put a glass of alcohol by me, I'll lay there all night. <laughs> when it comes to impersonating people, most of us aren't able to do what Oscar-winning actress Meryl Streep oh. masters in every one of her movies. Mm -hmm. However, according to wikihow.com, if you want to impress an audience or your friends, good impersonations requires just a little attention to detail and lots of practice. So, I have to know, ladies, is there someone oh, that you have a good yeah. impression that you could do? Oh, gosh. Oh. I mean... <laughs> Tam, you're an actress. I know. Isn't there a difference between impression and, like, acting? Yeah, there acting, is. Acting, I can play a character. I can't, like, imitate a person. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, like, I can imitate you like that. That... <laughs> Lordy! Yes. That was actually pretty good. That I got you pretty good. I got to marry Wait, down I think I got you. Hold on for a second. Okay, uh oh. When you laugh and you think something is really funny, you go, uh -oh. ah! <laughs> That's a good one. Right? Yeah. I tried. Or See? I imitate your dancing a lot. What? You know, you should do this. I do. <laughs> I don't yes. know where this. <laughs> Came from, I think after I had children, I don't, I don't, I used to, I, I could dance. I was in a dance group, Yeah, you but guys, now you not. lost it. You I just know. this, you just. I'll well, get Jeannie, it back. You're, I'll oh get my, my girl back. You're always impersonating somebody on yeah. this stage. Okay, well, yes, I can do Mama Mai, but that doesn't count. That's Mama Mai. You guys hear all that all the time. Right. But I can, to, okay, Tamara does do Lonnie, or she always goes, Oh hell! Yeah. I she do. always does that a lot. Oh, yes. Hell. Oh my god! And gosh. then though, you you guys don't get to see this because this ain't on camera. But there's this thing she does when she's tired. Talk to me about something important. Tell me the importance of marriage. Are you talking about me? Yes. I think that this marriage is, is, is marriage. very important um, because it helps people to come together, <laughs> and it's something that and I really. Wait. Then she goes. Wait. I'm sorry, Jeannie. Were you talking? <laughs> <laughs> She does. She'll no stop you way. and ask you if you were talking. No. Your heart is it's here. Because. It's here. You guys, I told you. It's because I overthink. <laughs> I'm thinking about what Araya is doing. I'm thinking if Aiden is being good in school. I'm thinking about what in I want school. school. Uh, <laughs> you guys are all imitating no, me. No, oh, no. What the hell? No. Easy to imitate. It's a good yeah, you one. are. And you're so, you're so precious that, but you, what? in the morning, uh -huh. she comes in her robe. <laughs> hey, bitches! Yes. <laughs> yes. That is true. Oh, yes. God. yes. That's a good one. Oh, That's God. a really good one. <laughs> I don't know where she gets the shoulders from. She just, you know. Moves. Yeah, you do. <laughs> or she'll, she'll do her tongue where she goes, hey. Okay, yes. you stick out your tongue, too, when you dance. When you think you're doing a sexy dance, Jeannie, you'd be like, Jeannie, oh, that and is true. <laughs> yes, you do. That is true. Yes. 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 yes! I told you. You cannot told tell you. Jeannie that she's, <laughs> Jeannie thinks she is the flyest thing ever. Oh, I sure do. Oh, I sure do. I don't even, I still don't know how to twerk, but I jiggle it like it's making me money. I'm like, hey, girl. <laughs> Most people's image of a bodyguard is like a tall, muscular, unsmiling man, right? Yes. yes. Okay, but a recent article in the independent.com says that stereotypes are changing and more people are actually hiring female bodyguards. Hey! hey. I like that. The future is 
Female, yes. Now, according to personal protection officer Lisa Baldwin, people nowadays would rather have a woman protect them because they blend in, unlike the obvious big guys who protect celebrities like, you know, Madonna or Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys actually think that a female bodyguard could take uh, better care of you or would make you feel secure? Yeah, I mean, I use them a lot. Um, and I do like, because it looks like it's just like, um, two women, like, we're just walking around, two women, and, yeah. you know, we're just, like, friends and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Whereas, it's, it's funny because if I travel with just a bodyguard, then it's more like we look like a couple, and oh. then people insinuate a lot of things. So mm -hmm. I really like working with a female. And she pays... A, to me, they, they tend to pay a lot more attention. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. we're, no, we're very observant. For sure. yes. Yes. We yes. Yes. More attention to detail. Right. Another thing. Okay, I actually use a, a female bodyguard, Jen Stitz, shout out to you. She helped me up uh, during Essence Festival. Yeah. And I loved it for multiple reasons. One, I loved it um, because I actually think there is something to be said for female intuition. Yes. Women's say, yeah. intuition, before anything even goes down, as women, we almost can sense that something's wrong. Uh, maybe we shouldn't go that direction. That area over there seems like there's some trouble. If you're in a nightclub and you're with, you know, with a woman, I actually think that we have the sense to be like, eh, that over there yeah. doesn't yeah. seem like a great area with people. How about we, we go over here? So I love, love that. And again, the attention to detail. Yes, because right. they're methodical. And not yes. to say one is better than the other, no. but right. women are just naturally more methodical. Men can be a little bit more reactionary, yes, right? Yes. Some happen, it's like, boom. Like, yeah. what is it? Where a woman will assess, she'll, 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 she'll think about it, she'll process it a little bit more. Possibly even diffuse the situation. Yes, yes, right. which is so dope. People think I'm the bodyguard a lot of times. <laughs> what? They what do you mean? You know what? Okay. You are mine though, Lonnie. You say, you say whenever we go out, you say you want to be my bodyguard. I become your bodyguard every I will, time. I will say this though, as much as that's funny, yo, try a situation at us and the first person who comes right in your face and is gonna shut it down is this one right I here. Love Man, you don't, love she it. don't play. Oh, she she doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> and I really love it. I would want to pop off too, like, you know, just for fun. Just Adrian, for fun. Like, a don't bit. get yourself hurt. Maybe. Uh, I, can't, I would die if anything, like if I saw you get into a, a like a, a scrap with anybody, I would, I would Why? Lose. Because people are crazy nowadays, and this is your money maker. Right. You gotta be careful. Oh Jeannie, right. that's why you taught me how to fight like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. 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 This yeah. is the nice thing when you have a big physical. You know what I mean? Because you could diffuse it without even going to you know town and strike you. Up. To him. Is there a problem? <laughs> There's nothing better than discovering a new favorite beauty product. So we've been traveling the world searching for the best finds for you to rock this summer. Fasten your seatbelts. It's time once again. Passport to pretty. Thank you for flying the real air, where our motto is, if we want something, we take something. Did you just hear what he said? Yeah. Hello, passengers, and welcome to this non-stop connecting flight back to Los Angeles from all your international travel. We are so happy you rated us the real air as your... Number one, customer service. <laughs> oh, hello, ma'am. Just checking our passenger manifest here, and it looks like you're heading home from Mexico. First of all, I didn't rate y'all number one, so I don't know where y'all get y'all numbers from, but you know what? You got that right. I mean, it was so relaxing, Mexico was. I had such a great time hanging out in the pool and exploring local hangouts, and I did some shopping. Oh. Check this out. This mascara I have, oh. right? Wow, wait, that's awesome. I love makeup. Well, you know, it happens to be special because it contains mame seed oil. That's a natural oil, girl, that encourages your eyelashes <laughs> to grow so you don't have to put the fake ones on like you have, you know? <laughs> If you use this mascara daily, it will help thicken and lengthen and strengthen those, those eyelashes of yours and save you some money. And wow. you just use this instead. No. Yeah. So, Mascara? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's my May. Yeah. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, I should have seen this coming. This mascara, it, it comes in a pink tube. We, what that the, yeah. See, we have a new airline rule. It states that no pink tubes are allowed on the airport of any kind. So I'm going to have to keep this. I'm so sorry. Th yeah. That sounds yeah. made up. Yes, yeah. yes, thank you, thank you. Ma'am, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to calm down. <laughs> Young ma'am, 
Calm down. I'm, Calm oh, down, I'm supposed to be mad. Calm, Give me my stuff back. Calm down, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Oh, hello there. Hi. How may I be of service to you, our valued customer today? Oh, wow, you are so nice. Uh-huh. Well, I I'd love a bottle of water, please. Of course. Thank you. Oh, oh. Uh, interesting. It looks like you're coming home all the way from Greece. Yeah. So, did you bring any goodies back from Greece? I sure did. Girl, you gotta check this out, okay? This is a mattifying primer. Ah. Now, what makes it really cool is that it's made with pomegranate extract, Greece's finest, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, this primer instantly fills in your pores to create a smooth, even texture, and it's really great for oily and shiny skin, and it's perfect for these hot summer nights. Wow. Mm -hmm. That sounds awesome. It is. Well, can I take a look at that? Sure. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, oh, shucks. What? I am so sorry, but um, this primer is in a pink tube. You see, that's, that's, that's pink. Did you not tell her about the pink tubes? I, I was just going to. I, I was coming from over here. Sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, we, we don't do pink tubes anymore, so I'm going to have to keep this. I'm going to have to keep this for myself, okay? Wait, what? Yeah. Ma'am, can I have my primer back? Ma'am, <clears throat> ma'am, please behave. I hate to have to re-accommodate you. Yeah, because that could be a drag, oh. okay? <laughs> All right, All right? Saying, oh, you know oh what? God. I had forgotten to get your beverage. Now, what would you like, please? Yeah, I'm gonna need some alcohol. Give me whatever you got. Okay, well, coming right up. And how about this? It looks like you also did some traveling through the African country of Zambia. Yes, I did. Oh, I wow. flew there from uh, Denver. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. And this is what I found, right? Ooh. It's, it's a Baobao pre-shampoo oil. This intensely <laughs> hydrating oil can be used on your hair. You, you need it a <laughs> softer and more manageable lot. It's formulated to provide skin protection for you. What? What? For, to provide sun protection. I really need that drink. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it will provide sun protection for your hair and it shields against free radicals which can cause damage and frizz and ooh, you got a lot of frizz. And this is going to be my go-to hair product this summer. Me and you both. Oh, may, I, may I see it? I've never heard of anything like that. May I? You know what? Yeah, just look at Ms. it. Miss Love? What? I'm really sorry. That is not pink. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, it is not. But this oil starts with the letter B. Yes, that's right. In order to create a comfortable, safe environment for all of our passengers, we no longer allow products that uh, start with the letter B. Oh, I'll show sorry, you yes. a B if you pre keep my product. You, 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 you know. All right. Amazing. Okay, and um, here's your liquor. Yes, that was finishing that off, and that'll be $25, please. <laughs> Flight attendant, please finish taking whatever you want and prepare for landing. Thank you so much for choosing to fly the real air. Many years ago, before our next guest was slaying it as Tasha St. Patrick on the hit show Power, she and I were in a girl group together called 3LW. I am so excited to welcome her to the show for the first time. Please give it up for Naturi Naughton. Situation. Amazing. Oh my you God. Do? Thank so you do so cute. Yo, I'm oh bugging. God. I'm not going to lie. When <laughs> I first you. saw it on Instagram, that's where I found out that you were pregnant. You had posted it on there. Uh, yes. I was like, oh my God. I know. <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. you I do. feel you really, really do. good. You look good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. Know? Girl, you ain't nothing but belly. I mean, that's a good thing, right? Yes. 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 It just yes. all goes this way. Yes. And that works. Good. Because then I can snap back. Huh? Exactly. Oh, let them know. <laughs> let them know. <laughs> I love that you're here at the show. You Thank know, we you. can't have you here and not talk about you and I being in 3LW of course. together. And when I look at you, I'm just like, oh, my God. We're grown-ups. I know. It's and it's wow. crazy. I'm married. You're having a baby. Oh, my God. I wow. know. Wow. Us and the glitter wow. and that MAC eye pigment. That but, is um, crazy. <laughs> 
I, I think it's crazy because when I look at you, I really think about my teen years. We literally grew up together in bunk beds in we New did. Jersey. We did. And I, I thank God for the time that I got to actually talk to you. A few years back, we had seen each other at an Us Weekly party. I, I remember that. It See? Was like Years ago. Years ago, yeah. And we sat down and we talked everything out and I was able to apologize to you if ever, you know, there was a lot that went on in that time that now looking back is just like, yeah, we were so young and it was crazy. Yeah. And that I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, never meant any harm towards you. Thank and that you. I think you're talented and beautiful. Thank and you. Thank yeah. you. No, and that I, we had that moment together privately, you know? Yeah, no, it was, it was crazy because when, you know, Going through what I went through yeah. with the group, it wasn't easy. It was a hard time. Yeah. And everything with being a teenager and being criticized. And I went through a time when I didn't really think I could make it. Yeah. And, I'm, mm. and I appreciate your apology because it's just humility. And at the end of the day, we have to love and support each other. Yeah. That's yeah. right. It's not an easy business. <laughs> yeah. And we have to uplift, particularly young girls. And I think so. looking back, a lot of that was fear. There was so much fear put in us just oh. all around that when we look back, Girl, we're like, I know. Oh, was, exactly. They had me scared. They, they had, had you scared. Hey, you but know, the truth is we were kids yeah. and you know, the adults in the situation, you know, did what they did, but thank God I'm here. Yes. We're just, you know, moving living, forward. living life and moving yes. forward. And you yes. got to be a mommy. Yes, yes. you are. <laughs> There's so many awesome. good things. So many things yeah. to congratulate. Thank like you. we said, you guys, literally we grew up together and we would say our dreams out loud. And we I were know. at the NAACP Awards. Yes. Oh. And you guys, she freaking won. Sorry, I got really excited. She won an Image Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. Thank you. And you guys, I was so excited when she won that I put it on my IG story. Check it out. And I never saw it. Okay. Naturi just won an NAACP award, and as children, I know that this meant everything to her. Yo. But she's not here to accept it. I'm just mad excited for her. Okay, she finally came to accept it. Yo, she has wanted this her whole life. But she really has! It's crazy. I remember you being like 15 years old, like, yo. When no. I grow up, I'm gonna win an NAACP award. It's so crazy. All, all my dreams are finally starting yes. to come together. Yeah. And that moment, I was actually backstage not feeling well. I was a little <laughs> sick. Uh -huh. You know, it was a lot happening. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, um, but no, I was, I was not there. And then they called me and they were like, you just won. And I was like, what? I had to get myself together. Yes. I came out the wheelchair. I was like, because <laughs> I was throwing up. And I, I, got, I got on that stage. Because we was like, where is she? And yeah, you just popped up. I love it. You look oh, absolutely beautiful. We yeah, never no. would have known. No. Yeah. I was so sick, and I think people thought I was like exaggerating. It yeah. Was, I had food poisoning. I was also pregnant, but I was oh keeping the pregnancy on the low. Right. Yeah. So I got through. I got through. Well, yes. glad you did. Yeah, glad you did. Yeah. Yeah. You look beautiful doing it. Yeah. So you are seven months pregnant now. I am. Are you enjoying it? I am. You are awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, it's just such a process. Mm -hmm. And at first it's like, okay, I'm, you're scared. Am mm -hmm. I going to be a good mommy? You know, and as women, it's such a complex thing, you know, going through what it's like to experience motherhood and pregnancy for the first time. Yeah. But mm. for me, I haven't been, you know, going through any crazy, like, No morning sickness. Not as, not as bad as you would think. I had a little bit of, like, smells were, like, mm. making me nauseous. Yeah. Uh -oh. But now I'm like good to go. I'm eating what I want, good. honey. Oh, I'm, enjoying, I'm enjoying being pregnant. And That's it's awesome. been a blessing. Yeah, love thank it. you. Now we love you as Tasha on yes, Power. We everybody love loves you. you. Tasha. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, you. you are married to that fine piece of woo. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Ooh, Amari Hardwick. Oh, girl, that's yes. just. Oh, Hi. look at it. Amari Hardwick. <laughs> yes. But you're getting a new, Tasha is getting a new love interest. Now, I, you can't top him. So tell me you gonna top him. I don't know. Girl, I'm not gonna tell you that because you can't top Amari that's, Hardwick. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if you watch Power, y'all watch Power, right? Yes. yes. Make sure you get your stars this summer because we are coming back. I'm so excited. June 25th, you gotta tune but in. But you're getting a new love interest. But I will have a new love interest. I can't tell you who. Okay. Because Tasha needs love too now. Yes. Yeah. You know? no. Ghost has been doing his thing on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we know. Yeah. And okay. I can't have that. So mm -hmm. Tasha's gonna have to do a little something for herself. Ooh, oh, okay. okay.